Welcome to TechSybo.com. In this video, I will show you how to implement WebView to load our responsive website. So let's get started. Open our project. In the layout folder open content main.xml. Now delete the hello world text view. Drag and drop WebView control. Now switch to code view. Change width and height of web view to match parent. Change the ID of web view. Now switch to design view. Here we need to remove the default paddings. Switch to code view. Delete Align Properties and delete the Android default padding. Now switch to Design View. Now our web view is correctly placed. Now before going any further, we are going to create an Android app that uses the internet connection of the device, so we need to add internet permission. So open Android Manifest.xml. Add the internet permission. Now let's do some Java code. Open main activity.java. First let's initialize our web view in our Java code, so that we can refer the web view content from XML file. Let's call this my web view. Then, in on create method, Link our WebView control with the MyWebView variable. Now we want to set some settings for our WebView. So create a new Web Settings variable. 99% of websites uses JavaScript to load their content. In default the web view not supporting JavaScript. So enable JavaScript. In the load URL type your full website address. Now let's run our project. You can see that our website loaded. But when you click any link it forced to open link in external browser. So we need to fix this. To do this we need a new web view client class. Create a new web view client class. Add should override URL loading method. Inside this we need check whether the link is our website or not. Pass the website name. Also we need open all external links in other app or browser.
Remove the HTTP from the URL, otherwise you will get error. Now run the project. Now the links are opens in the same web view. Another problem is if we press the back button the app will close. We do not want this. So let's fix this issue. Press Ctrl plus O to create override methods. Create a new on key down event. Here we need to check if the back button is pressed, check the web view can go back to the previous page. Else exit the app. Sorry I forget to add the case statement. Now run our project. Now everything works fine. In the next tutorial I will show you how to improve web view performance and enable offline view of your website. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up, it helps our channel a lot.